students. One of the most common questions that I get regarding Shotcut is how to add a voiceover or a narration. You can see that I have Shotcut open right here and that I have a very simple video clip already placed. You can see that there's narration or audio on this video clip because I can see the waveforms there. If I want to record something over that, or if the video has no narration and I want to add my own, then how do I do that? That's the common question that I get. There are several ways that you can do this. However, I believe the easiest way to do this is by using Audacity. Audacity is a program that comes already installed on student devices, and I have it open right here. By no means is this meant to be a tutorial on how to use Audacity, but simply how to just use one feature to create your voiceover or your narration. So once you have Audacity open, the record button can be found right here. And when you click that, you can record what you are saying. The computer is set to pick up everything that is recorded with the built-in microphone. If you want a little bit better quality, you could attach a microphone that sits on your head. But either way, you can record the audio. And when you are done, you can hit the stop button right here. Just a couple of features that I would like to show you in Audacity. You can left click and drag and select an area in this dark gray right here and you can cut that audio. So if I had some background noise or somebody had said something while I was recording, I could cut that out. At any time, I can undo something by going to edit and then undo cut. In that case, I cut everything. Uh, so that was very important to do that or doing control Z on my keyboard. Either one will undo an, an operation. And I can left click and drag and I can also silence the audio. So if I don't want to cut it, if I just want to silence it, I can make sure that there is no sound right there. And again, I can undo that as well. And I can also trim the audio. That one is a bit deceiving because what it's going to do actually is trim everything outside of the gray area that you've selected. So let's say you had a lot of things at the beginning and the end you did not want. You then might want to consider uh, using the trim audio command. So those are three commands that will help you. Again, by no means is this meant to be a full length tutorial on Audacity, just on this one feature. Once you have your narration or your voiceover complete, you're going to go to file and you're going to go to export audio. And once you are there, you have to make sure you export the audio to the correct location. And that correct location is going to be to your Google Drive and more specifically to the shortcut folder we created for Google Drive. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, you may want to go back and watch the first video that gave the basics of how to use Shotcut. You should be able to find Google Drive on either the quick access panel or you should be able to find it on your desktop and there is Google Drive, one of those two. And now I'm going to locate the Shotcut folder where all of my Shotcut files are saved and this would most most closely match the music section even though it is a voiceover. So I'm going to give it the name of voiceover. It is very important to change this file type to MP3. So you're going to change it from the, the standard default, which is Windows WAV file, which would probably work, but to MP3, which is going to be universal and we know which will work. And you're going to hit save. And you probably shouldn't get that message because I had actually tried to record the video once before and I didn't like the recording, so I recorded it again and I had the same file name. You will get this uh, metadata tag. You can type in your name if you would like as the author. And you can add track titles, album titles, track numbers, any of these things. You probably won't need to add most of these, but if you want to, they're there and you can. And you can hit OK and that file will be exported to your Google Drive and now it's done. That was a very short file, obviously only 12 only 12 seconds in length, so not very long to export that. Then you're going to go back to Shotcut. And again, if you're not familiar with how to add files into Shotcut, there is another video that covers that. Um, but if you have not done that before, you're going to want to open your file explorer. And if yours is not saved on the desktop, mine is, but if yours is not, you can always type in and get the file explorer. And then you are going to go to your Google Drive and you are going to locate your shortcut folder. And that was in music. So I'm going to take the voiceover and I'm going to drag it over here. When you click that, you can record a couple of helpful hints before you put your voiceover in, actually three of them. If you have multiple video clips, you would want to click on each video clip and you would want to do a filter 
and you would want to add a filter and you would want to mute each of those video clips. That was also covered in the first shortcut video. If you only have one video clip and it's only on this timeline, you can click the mute button right here and that will mute that particular timeline. It will mute everything on that timeline. So if you want to mute everything on that timeline, you can do that. And then you're going to click the three bars and you're going to add an audio track. And then we're going to go back to our playlist and we're going to drag the voiceover down onto our audio track. And then from there, you can adjust the voiceover to where you would like for that to occur. Now, obviously, in this case, the voiceover does not match the length of the video. If you were doing a full length video, you, you would want to make sure the voiceover matched or you would need to trim the video to match the length of the voiceover. And at that point, you now have the voiceover in Shotcut and you are ready to edit anything else you need in Shotcut and you are ready to render your video with the voiceover. Hopefully that answers any questions that you have about the voiceover. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to contact me. Otherwise, good luck using Shotcut and Audacity to record your voiceover.